Hey guys, it's Lion here. Welcome back to another video. And in this video, I'm going to be showcasing the new SMG that's been added to the game of Fortnite. And you might be asking, new SMG, what do you mean by that? Well, uh, first I want to add in that they removed the TAC SMG. Uh, and they added in a new SMG, which is the same name as the regular SMG that was in like Season 3, I think. It was removed. I'm not sure when it was removed exactly. But uh, it was a tiny different model of the SMG. The model they brought in today is really similar to the Silence Pistol. Uh, which is an mp5 uh, there's really small differences with it the back of it kind of looks different as well as a little red uh, on the gun itself but other than that really looks similar to uh, a silence smg but they're not the same weapon at all uh, and i'll get to that later i'm not really sure what i'm going to call this video uh, or what i'm going to title it i'm just trying to give my opinions on the weapon showcase it uh, give me a review on it and potentially compare it with other weapons so let's go over the weapon itself let's talk about it let me give you guys some info before i go in depth with this weapon so uh it comes in three different variants common uncommon and rare similar to the other smg the silence one and the base damage for the weapon is 19 to 21 damage common one does 19 the uh, uncommon does 20 and the rare variant does 21 for precision damage the common does 39 to the head uncommon does about 40 or 41 i'm not really sure but i think it's 40 and the rare smg does 41 or 42 i've really don't remember it's in the gameplay somewhere you guys can find it but I, i'm pretty sure it's 42 it uses light ammo just like the silence smg and it also has 30 rounds in the mag so it's really similar and it can be found a floor loot and regular chest now i've been playing a lot today trying to get some gameplay for it and i found this really often so it's not really hard to find it's a really fun weapon to use and it's really good in my opinion as you can see from the gameplay i'm kind of destroying people and people are sometimes destroying me uh you, you might really not know how to use this weapon which i'm going to be showing you guys and explaining how to use it properly before i go over that i just want to talk about why they removed this, the tactical smg the reason why they removed it is because it kind of felt overpowered in some situations people were using it to destroy base walls and just melt people uh, ever since the shotgun nerf where you can double pump which i'm still really happy about this was the next best thing so this is why they had to be removed uh which it wasn't really overpowered but like you know it was kind of an easy weapon to use yeah this is what everyone was using and once there's a meta in fortnite they got to do something about it but instead of changing it they just brought in a new weapon and replaced it it's kind of a shame because uh, i really like the tactical smg was one of my favorite weapons at one point if you don't know me i like to use weapons that are kind of underrated and i don't really use like typical weapons in certain situations i don't really like to use the regular weapons that everyone uses i try to change up my play styles a bit and just try to make the game more uh fresh and since everyone started using the tech smg it was, it was expected to be changed at some point just because how popular it was it was doing really good back when uh the shotguns were really good and there's double pump still just that now the double pump's gone everyone's probably gonna be using shotguns with a combo of attack smg so that's why they removed it but this weapon's almost just as good in my opinion and i'll get to that later i think the attack smg did about like 46 to the head so it did more damage and it had a bigger mag than the regular than the new smg right now but the thing i don't understand is why they had to make a new model because i kind of like the old model but you know it is what it is this is not a bad change at all i just felt like they didn't really need to remove the tech smg but then again a new model makes the game fresh and this is going to encourage new play styles and a different type of gameplay so i'm really kind of hyped for this and i'm also really loving the new smg uh, i'm loving all the new weapons in general I'm, ever since they brought in the dual wheel i was really hyped about that then they brought in the thompson which was just as good as the dual wield for like how effective it was and how much fun i had with it and then the new smg came in today and i just it was just the same thing it was amazing and i thought kind of thought it was going to do bad at first because when i was first using it it didn't really feel effective but then as i played a few more games i got the hang of it and it was just a shredding monster i was getting really accurate with it and i was doing amazing with just the the common version of it so you don't really need the other variants if you have the common you can you still do really good with it i'm gonna show you guys some gameplay later where i had like 11 kill game with just using uh the common smg and i i didn't pick up any scars and bother with it i was playing 50 50 and i just wanted to get as much kills as possible this gun is a shredding machine when it comes to teams uh, if you want to kill multiple people for squads, this is the go-to gun. Even though it's kind of a nerd version of the TAC SMG, it still has a higher time to kill than the Silence SMG. I'm not going to go too in-depth with it and like make a video on like what's better or not. But I just want to show you guys my opinions and show you guys gameplay, what's better. I also try to compare it with the new Thompson because that's kind of an SMG, but it uses AR ammo. And I tried comparing it to wall damage and like regular damage. SMGs in general are just really good for taking down structures. And the gameplay you see now is going to be... Two structures where i shoot at them with a regular smg that's common and a thompson that's uh reverb variety it's not really a fair test but apparently the variant doesn't matter when it comes to structure damage i'm not 
really sure about this or it's not confirmed you guys can correct me in the comments and you guys can uh, have a discussion on what you think is better for wall damage because i'm not going to go into that I just, wall damage is wall damage in my opinion they, they both do really good for that i'm also going to show you guys a clip with the new smg where someone's shooting me and they managed to almost basically shoot me through the wall and my structure got disintegrated and my health got disintegrated like instantly it was really fast so uh yeah i don't know what happened here maybe he had the rare version but i honestly have no clue how this guy melted me that fast so yeah another thing about the weapons that it feels really snappy like it feels as if it's a call of duty weapon for that time to kill that's how fast it can kill someone if someone's 100 health then if you have the green uh, smg then it can five tap someone uh, unless you hit a headshot, I can do even faster, but that's the slowest you can heal someone with. And I did that earlier, and it just melted the guy. I'm going to show you guys clips throughout the video, and I just, just amazing with this weapon. Like, this weapon is just a beast of a weapon, especially in 50 50. I'm not really sure about the squads if it's different, but 50 uh, 50, it's my go to weapon. It's amazing. I had so much fun with it. And I felt like that was the best way to test this weapon. So I went to 50-50. If I went to squads, it was kind of be hard. And I, sometimes I wouldn't find the weapon. And nowadays, I feel like squads isn't as fun as 50-50. I'm having so much fun with 50-50 that I play it a lot more often. Especially with the skill-based matchmaking. But uh, if you guys don't feel like 50-50 is a good way to test this, then I won't do it next time. This is actually the first time I made a review on Fortnite uh, for weapons. Like, I've done this a few times in Destiny where I showcase the new weapon uh, when it comes out. Uh, but I haven't actually done this for Fortnite. So, uh, yeah, this is the first. So, let me know if you guys found this helpful and you guys like this. Then I'll try to do more. Uh, right now, I don't really have a lot of things to make videos on. I'm just the perfect time for me to uh, expand and try out new things. So, yeah, this is why I'm doing this. Uh, seeing if it does well. And then uh, if it does well, I'll do more. Now, I'm going to compare the stats with the uh, SMG, the Silence SMG. I don't feel like it will be fair to compare with the Thompson. Although, the Thompson is kind of an SMG. It's in between SMG and the AR. And since this is meant for really close ranges, it has less range than the regular attack SMG that was removed. I feel like it's not really fair to compare them since they're not really in the same league. But since the Silence SMG is in the middle of them, in terms of fire rate, damage, and range, I feel like it will be fair for that. The common SMG does about 22 to the body. I'm not sure what the uncommon and rare variants do, but I'm going to compare it with the common version, just because, just to be fair with, because that's the gameplay I had with it, and that's the only gameplay I had to use it. Since the SMG fires a lot faster, and it only does three less damage than the Silence SMG, but it still fires insanely fast. I feel like it's fair to say that the new SMG has a higher time to kill, even though it has a lower range. It's a close range weapon. Fits perfectly with the shotgun combination, and it has even more range than a shotgun uh, if you have your aim right and if you can land your shots. Probably will probably be bad for this weapon. But you can still try to land shots from different ranges. So if you're using a shotgun and you want somebody to switch your shotgun because shotguns are kind of inconsistent now, uh, I recommend you use this weapon. Even if it's common, uh, it would still be really helpful and it would get the job done. Another thing I noticed about the weapon is that it doesn't follow the regular uh, bloom effect when you crouch and it takes away your bloom. So basically it doesn't have first shot accuracy, similar to the dual wield and the Thompson. But the Silence SMG actually has bloom, so it's just different in that way. So when you think about it, the Silence SMG is completely different from this SMG. Even though they look similar and they act similar, they're not really the same. But yeah, that's really everything I have about this weapon. Uh, this weapon fits perfectly for wiping squads and it fits perfectly with the shotgun combo so if you're using a shotgun you want to use this weapon with it similar to the tech smg it's kind of a nerfed version of that to be honest even though they did change the weapon and it kind of feels a little different it's still technically a nerf version uh it kind of feels like it kind of feels like a better version than the old smg the iconic the old one that was removed first uh for season three but then it feels a little worse than the tax smg because apparently those are the same rate of fires and i'm not sure about this this kind of might be the same rate of fire but it has different noise and effects so i don't really know for sure so uh yeah you guys let me know in the comments i want to do the research uh heart your comment and uh yeah, I want to get a discussion in the comments. Uh, that's what, you know, I really like about YouTube. I have discussions with you guys. Overall opinion of this weapon is that it's really good. It's amazing. Uh, you can still do pretty well with range. As you can see, some of the shots I land are from ranges. And uh, it's pretty accurate in my opinion. But the thing to take note is that I was playing 50-50. So it's a lot of bad players here. Uh, you can still do well against good players, I'm assuming. Because some of the players here aren't completely bad. And I'm also a really good player. At least I'd like to think that. But yeah, my opinion is that it's an amazing weapon. You guys should definitely try to use this in your loadouts more often. It's probably one of my favorite weapons in the game right now. If not my favorite. It reminds me of the Call of Duty days. Uh, you know, just fast time to kills. Honestly, like... This feels so snappy and accurate at this point where like I just feel like I'm in Call of Duty, I just rush up, I don't even need a build. It's it's that effective. But of course since it's Fortnite you probably need a build, so uh, yeah, well then it's just like an add-on. But this weapon just feels too good to not use in my opinion. It melts instantly, the time to kill is extremely high, I feel snappy like I said, and it can be paired off with a shotgun. And also doesn't have first shot accuracy, which I feel like first shot accuracy is kind of bad for the game, I really don't like it. Because the last three weapons they added in didn't have it, and I'm loving all three of those weapons. 
so that might be it but i honestly don't know but uh, yeah let me know what you guys think about this weapon you guys love it you guys hate it uh do you guys think i'm the best player in the game that's the video guys make sure to like subscribe and uh if you guys like this kind of video i'll be sure to make more but uh let me know so let me know how i can improve uh for guys and maybe a comparison person will take a lot more time and research to do so i probably won't title this as a comparison try to get views i've seen comparisons do well uh for other channels but i'm not trying to copy them or steal their flow if i am going to do a comparison it's going to be my own style i'm not trying to copy others because other people have been doing it and uh you know i don't want to steal content like i said Try to make my own unique ideas and my own unique uh, videos. But anyway, that's the video, guys. Let me know if you actually enjoyed this kind of review. Like I said, let me know how I can improve it. And I'll catch you guys next time. Peace. Oh, shit. No, 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 no. I can't build. 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 I'm rushing this man, bro. Right behind you. Oh, he's got a rock. He's got a rock. Oh. Are you? Oh. oh shit! I'm gonna die. Are you kidding me? Yo, run! Oh shit! That's a guy right there. What an a-hole. That's, that's, definitely, that's definitely the guy who was following me the whole time. Dude, what's wrong with launch pads, bro? I can't run! I can't run! What is this game? It wouldn't let me sprint! <laughs> How do you have 11 kills? What the fuck? No, that's a troll. No way, that's a troll. <laughs> it wouldn't let me spray! <laughs> Yo, this game's so dumb. Yeah, you got blessed, dude. So, it's it. Yo, I'm on a launch pad, dude. It won't let me use anything. Yo, this guy's lagging me right here. I saw one guy. Bro, this game so I'm so laggy, <laughs> what let me do anything? <laughs> Bro, it's pissing me off. Oh maybe I use the launch pad again, it'll work. Bro, it won't let me run or sprint. Look at these guys, bro! Behind you! Oh my god! <laughs> That guy's crazy. That guy's actually mod. Oh, oh, oh my god. This is much harder than you. Yeah. Bro, he stole my kill, I think. Yo, that guy's the RPG. What was Bro, that, that was all me. That was all me. That was what?